All right, it is Wednesday, so you know what that means. It means another snapshot. 21W39A. Now, this is a pretty big, pretty big one. Apart from all the stuff that we're about to go over, look, guys. This was last updated in 21W14A, and I can now load it. However, I would extremely recommend backing it up, guys, just in case. Of course, they are trying to do parity with old worlds now, which is absolutely brilliant. Finally, I can finally do continue my Minecraft series after so friggin' long. So yeah, that's gonna be brilliant. But anyways, let us get into the new changes, shall we? Okay, so first up we have advancements. Now I'm not going to go through these in order of the change log, but in order of conveniency. So, first up we have Star Trader, which is for trading with a villager at build height limit. I'm literally at the build height limit right now, so please, give. There we go. Star Trader, right there, the bottom one. Not what a deal. We already have that one. <laughs> well, it's not new anyways. But next up is Caves and Cliffs for falling from bottom, well, not bottom to top, top to bottom of the overworld. So I have a hole that goes all the way down, and uh, the stone is where the bedrock is. So let's see. Let's fall, shall we? Let's see if we actually get this advancement. There we go. Caves and cliffs. Brilliant. Now, let's get on to the other advancements. Next up is called Sound of Music. Now, what you have to do is you have to uh, play any music disc in a meadow biome. As you can see, I'm in a meadow biome. Let's play it. Sound of Music. There we go. That's one of the four advancements. Now, the next advancement is to walk a strider in the overworld for 50 blocks. It is called Feels Like Home. Now, I'm not sure if it means 50 blocks in a row or just 50 blocks consecutively. Or in total, should I say? Cumul cumulatively? Or does it mean like 50 blocks in one direction? Because if so, then I might have to build a tunnel here. Okay, now surely this is 50 blocks. Come on. This surely has to be 50 blocks of straight lava. I'm going to be so mad if it isn't. Because this advancement is very specific. I could do it on the surface, but I'd have to build my own path and everything. There we go. Brilliant. Feels like home. No, it doesn't. It feels like torture. Anyways, let's get onto the changes now, shall we? Now, the first change on the list is that zombies will no longer spawn in dripstone caves. But there's actually a change to combat this, which is if I just go up here real quick. This is a dripstone cave aquifer, right? Drowned will now spawn in dripstone caved, dripstone caves aquifers. So yes, that is basically removing zombies, adding drowned to make it more eerie, I suppose. Because this is actually a very nice looking dripstone caves biome, by the way. Jeez. Now another change is that apparently all the lone trees in meadows will now have beehives on them. So here we have a few trees. They should always have beehives. Actually, this doesn't seem like a meadow anymore. This seems like a... Oh, it's a Sunflower Plains. Well, there you go, actually. This is a meadow over here, as you can see, by the abundance of alliums. And it has a beehive on it. So I'm not lying, guys. The changelog speaks the truth. And another thing, quite a minuscule thing, but it does make sense. Buried treasure chest will now contain water-breathing potions. So, you know, just a little bit extra if you are searching for buried treasure. But why would you search for buried treasure when you have mountains? Caves, cliffs to search for, eh? Yeah. Get your priorities straight. <laughs> now, effects in the way they are shown have been changed. Now, as you can see here, I've got three different effects. I'm going to open up the survival inventory and show you guys what I mean. So, up here, you know, the top right is different, but now it's the same. But now, over here, this is different. They used to be on the left, now they're on the right. And I believe this is because if you just go into survival because how effects weren't there when you know when you opened your recipe book now they are which is brilliant because i hated that i hated when effects weren't there when the recipe book was how dumb is that well now it's it's there <laughs> oh dear and that is about it for this snapshot i'm a, i'm supposing a deep dark will come soon like very soon but yes, 
If you did find this informative or enjoy it at all, then please do smack a like on it and subscribe, because only a small percentage of you are. And stay tuned for next week's snapshot, if there is one. I'm assuming there is. But yes, thank you all so much for coming along. Stay inside, stay safe, wash them hands. Bye, and stay awesome, guys.